So this tale, uh, shenanigan, tomfoolery, whatever you may call it, happened to myself about 16 or so years ago. I, among my many countless hobbies, which I also recently wrote a song about just having too many hobbies, but we're not here to talk about that. <laughs> we're here to talk about that my oldest is I've been doing performative magic since I was about six years old. Around the age of nine or ten, I was very much into escape magic, uh, studying of the master uh, Houdini primarily, and was formulating my act primarily around that. Uh, a lot of money was spent on chains and locks and whatnot. The majority of that performance, though, being me being roughly chained up, going into a closet where, of course, there were just keys hidden and coming out un, uh, unbound. And my dear mother said to me uh, that this was not the most interesting of acts to watch, which she was correct about. Unfortunately, what she told me was that what people liked about escape magic was that they were often going up against an element of danger. You see where this is going. <laughs> what she meant was to stick to the parlor magic and the sleight of hand and whatnot. What I thought she meant was to make my act more dangerous. <laughs> Fire! Fire! So one day, while home alone, I might add you, I chained myself to a bag of rocks and jumped in the pool. Oh! Very luckily, my common sense was about as developed as my chain securing skills, and I slipped right out of it. Because I realized, as I was recounting the story a few years ago, if that had killed me, there is no way whatsoever they could have explained that to the police. <laughs> and it not ended in an arrest for someone drowning their child. <laughs> Has my common sense developed much more since then? Eh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>